Okay, what I'm about to show you, I would not normally show any other men. Ah! <laughs> that is my toilet, my water closet top for the main cave. And I am so tired of this chunk, I'm going to build a cabinet to go right there. Right there. And my faithful sidekick is gonna help me. This uh, Craig pocket uh, tool jig. And this allows you to uh, make really quick, easy cabinet type uh, boxes and frames uh, without the need for, you know, all the fancy dovetailing and all that. Sometimes you just want a, uh, a simple project. Oh, Alex, I should have shown the, uh, I should have shown the little doors I made for out of the stair. Let's do that right quick as an so, example. These are some little doors that I made for under my stair. Uh, just there's a storage, a little storage area for my, for my boxers and socks and stuff. But uh, I'll try to spare you that. But what I did was, this is just an example of the pocket uh, jig system. And then I just used, uh, routed out the doors for um, this decorative metal, the stamped metal. And so you can see there, so that's just an example. Uh, I'll just have a simple little latch there. So taking that same con concept, and I'm going to build a water closet cabinet. You know, what, do you know what a water closet is? It's a turlet. You look kind of spooky in this light. Hmm. <laughs> Let's go to the shop. So anyway, just a brief explanation of some of the tools. Uh, this is a clamp designed to keep your work flush while you screw it together. This is actually a portable barrel, I call it. It's a portable drill set for the pocket system, which is really neat because sometimes when you're on the go, you just want to fasten something, you can just throw this in your nail apron. But, uh, and I'll show you how this works a little bit. This obviously is a clamp that uh, allows you to place your face frames or whatever it is in here. Now let's grab that drill bit right there, right here. This one right here, Alex, oh. right here. And run it down through that, those little barrels right there. Yeah, so then you would drill a hole into it like that, and it makes a pocket and screws. Mm -hmm. So, and here's your little screws. Uh, the most popular top being the inch and a quarter, because they won't go through um, a three quarter inch thickness on the other side, and I'll show you that also as we get going. So then we've got these long special bits for the head. The square tip. This one, this one's nice. An extension there, and we got some hinges for our door. What I'm going to do too is I'm going to contact cement on some uh, veneer to the edges of this plywood, so those won't show. That'll be neat. And then, last but not least, we have our little plugs for the holes. And these are kind of kind of optional, if you ask me, because. Um, I don't know. I have gotten where I like seeing the uh, the holes with the screws in them. If you lay them out properly, it can actually be a feature. So and I'll go over that to also that concept in just a little bit. So are, are we ready? My tongue is tied today. My tongue is twisted and tied. Can't speak. So let's get started. Let's do something, even if it's wrong. That's what we say in construction. <laughs> what I have determined is that I cannot obtain the golden section or the golden rectangle, which is your width times 1.618. That would make my um, cabinet too tall. So I'm going to make it 18 inches wide and 22 inches tall, which is a little more square than I wanted it to be. And I don't know, I may just make it square now that I, now that I think about it. Um, I think you just talked me into it. So anyway, so right around here is gonna be my 18 inches. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna rough cut this plywood off uh, somewhere past that point. And um, then I'll take it to the table saw and cut the you know, final dimensions of it. You can see there, I let my blade get in a bind, and that's why I don't use this saw to cut finish cuts. And here's another good reason.
I decided to go ahead and cut an extra one in case I screw up one of them. <laughs> so uh, now let me get this table saw set up for uh, end cutting and I'll be right back. I'll just give you a comparison right quick <clears throat> of the two cuts. The lower one was the circular saw, <laughs> upper one is the table saw, and that's why I uh, overcut and then made final cuts on the table saw. Okay, so I basically had this kind of just laid out the way I think I'm going to want it. I may have to, I may adjust the shelf. Okay, okay so basically how this works see if I can keep from creating shine is there's a little clamp here and you put your board in there that you want to pre-drill for your pocket hole and then this clamp comes down it's adjustable so that you can just make it snug but not too tight and then what's going to happen is this uh, the drill bit that comes with the set has a stop on it and it is designed to go through the holes and not you want it to go as far as it'll go without touching the base. Yeah. On the spacing, this is really set up for cabinet frames, the distance between these two holes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide mine back and forth. I'm gonna drill a hole over here, then I'm gonna slide it over and drill a hole there to spread, to spread out the holes on here because this piece is four inches. cool and you want to use a high-speed drill uh, when I say high-speed drill I just mean a basic electric drill uh, because uh, your cordless drills aren't going to have really the RPMs that you want to use you want to keep this bit spinning relatively fast and I have those in my cordless drills don't get the, the RPMs I want plus and the other thing is you want to make sure you get this drill bit kind of started in the hole before you turn it on And that's how simple it is. So let me get these all drilled out and then I'll show you how it goes together. Now the fun part. Let's see. This is correct. Yes. We got all my pieces lined up correctly. So what you want to do here is that uh, you want to get this lined up correctly, obviously. Let's so try and get this in frame. Now this is where a, a decent little powerful uh, hand size uh, cordless drill comes in handy because you don't want to over torque these things. And sometimes with an electric dr drill, we tend to over torque screws and then we just you know, pull through my two, my two screws in. And what they are, they're just, they have a little square head on them, the little built-in washer. And we're going to slide those in the hole. And then get this thing. Let's we'll see if I can back this up. You just want to make sure this is flush. These screws have a really good point on them, so they're not going to pull back. You know, it's not going to move around much. So just get it lined up and drive that baby in there. Now, if it does that, where it raises up a little bit, just back it out a little bit like that, and let it sit back down. And go at it again. Now that is a tight joint. Alex, come here. Okay, 
I'm here with mm -hmm. Alex, my faithful sidekick, and I'm going to teach him how to use this pocket crib jig. We call it pocket hole jig or whatever. So Alex, you want to try that one, buddy? Sure, I'll put it out. Oh, you got to bear down on it pretty hard. Okay, like that's that? pretty good. What I should have done is I should have held it flush for you. Let's back it out. Just back it out. Turn that thing in reverse and we'll back the screw out. Right now. We need to, yeah. Make sure that's flush. I'm going to actually hold it out. Sure flush means good. even. Oh. See? Now, I'm trying again. You got to push down hard. There you go. Good job. Is that all? Yep. For now. Oh. Yeah, okay. I got to I gotta set it up. Okay. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Look how strong that is. It's pretty strong, isn't it? Yeah. See, lay down like this. Oops. Let me vacuum it. See? Is that cool? Yeah. All right. Are we ready to eat lunch? Oh, yeah. Subway. Subway. Where men with bank accounts eat. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's Alex and mine's uh, new, new, uh, Slogan for a subway. Subway where men with bank accounts eat. <laughs> where men who want to keep their bank accounts eat. <laughs> what I'm going to do here is uh, just use my speed square. To make sure this is square because I don't want to put a mark on my cabinet. My, uh, my side pieces. So I'm going to slide my screws in. See if my big arm's gonna be in the way. Now I know what some of you avid woodworkers out there are saying. Oh my God. <laughs> but uh, the whole purpose of this project is just to get something for me to put my little sundries, whatever you call them in. Now this little crack's gonna go away when I square up those other corners. But um, you know, sometimes you just need to put a project together quickly just because you, you know, you need some, you need to use it. And uh, that's what this project is about. Uh, and I just wanted to show people how easy it was to put a little project together. Now see here, when I squeeze that in there, that's going to square that up. You just want to make sure it is square. And then we we'll have to squeeze that hard. See? That forced it square. But back to my point. My point is that uh, this project is really about showing how the Craig Pocket Tool jig works. And uh, if you want to do more complicated projects, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. You know, just do what you want to do. Life is too short. Don't worry about what other people want you to do. Right? So let's set that up. Like that, and get back out. Take a look at it. So that's what I'm going to do for now on the body of it. Next, I'm going to build the doors. I said doors, didn't I? I meant door. 